And I wanted to ask you, uh, let's say you wake up uh, tomorrow and Amsterdam just disappeared, just gone. Uh, how uh, different would that day be? For the Netherlands? Yeah. Uh, no, that would not work. <laughs> It won't change the Netherlands, I think. Amsterdam is, of course, it it hosts our uh, financial economy, like uh, stock exchange and all banks are there, uh, you know, big offices are there, so big companies. So a lot of, um, yeah, you would get gain a lot of unemployment, but it's not like the country would stop working if Amsterdam wasn't there anymore. No. So, my name is uh, Tristan Schendel. Well, my name is Klaus Munoz Balvi. Oh, hello, I'm uh, Thomas Kampais, or Campius, or uh, I don't know the Brazilian Portuguese word for camp home, but that's my name. <laughs> I'm Max, I'm 22 years old. I studied urban design in uh, Deventer on, uh, at Saxion. I graduated urban design at Saxion University in Netherlands, and I'm now studying urban studies at Malmo University in Sweden. I'm 23 years old. I'm studying currently studying a master program at um, Erasmus University in Rotterdam. I graduated my bachelor's degree in environmental science, and um, now I study my master's in environment and society studies. Now I'm doing my master in uh, urbanism from the Academy of Architecture in Amsterdam. Amsterdam is really important for the. Yeah, for the finance and the econ for the economics in the Netherlands, there's a lot of companies based in Amsterdam. Uh, there's so much to do. Like Amsterdam is the kind of city. That's what I love about cities in general. But Amsterdam has that more. That where you walk out of your front door, um, everything you want to do, you you could possibly think of in your mind, is within a 10 minute biking uh, biking radius. Well, I have everything here. <laughs> it's my, my work, my school. Yeah, I have everything in my street. I have two supermarkets and grocery stores and uh, everything here is walking distance, actually. Can you tell us like how it came to be when it first uh, became Amsterdam? Well, when it became Amsterdam, was, it's, it's something different than when it became to be. It was around the year 1000 mark, maybe 1200s. But when it actually became Amsterdam, so in other words, when they dammed the river Amstel, um, that wasn't until a couple of hundred years later, so 14, 1500, is when they dammed the body of water to the north, which is called the A. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the body of water that connects to the sea. Um, and the river, uh, the Amstel, and the reason they dammed that is basically so they could um, um, make taxes. Amsterdam, so it started making money out of these taxes, like ships that had to come in to trade? Yes, exactly. And it was kind of small scale at first, so a lot of fish and a lot of beer and a lot of bread. Um, mm -hmm. Local products, basically. And and when did Amsterdam like start actually growing to a, a rich uh, city? I'd say that happened right around the 1500 mark, so after the Middle Ages. Mm -hmm. um, and that's also when we become... Um, or when we, we're nearing the Dutch Golden Age is what they call it, so the 1600s. Mm -hmm. uh, and in the 1600s, it was, it was really booming, um, and blooming for that matter. So that's when um, trade expanded internationally. Um, the city grew larger, so beyond its medieval core, you can still now see on city maps that this central sliver of Amsterdam is filled with tight little um, streets and small little houses. Um, you can literally see that's kind of medieval age city planning mm -hmm. and then around that is uh, this larger system of canals which were required for the uh, for the larger trade and the larger boats and how did Amsterdam like how were the this moment after the golden age uh, for Amsterdam let's say 18th century to the 19th century so the city expanded um, where a lot of people in the hinterland first providing for the city uh, came to the city to seek jobs in, in, in other sectors. Um, and that's when these massive uh, areas around the city center were built, so like in a, in a half shape, half moon shape. Um, at first, industrialism was portrayed as something beautiful, as something good. Mm -hmm. So um, in the beginning of the industrial age, you'll find paintings of Amsterdam where these, these factories, and um, they would build factories with neighborhoods around them. So the neighborhoods catering to the factories. 
oh. which meant the factories were in the city, right? Um, and these factories were painted in beautiful colors and sunlight on them, and everything was golden and shiny, and all was good. And it took a while, um, maybe a generation or two, at least a couple of decades, before people realized, hey, wait a minute, these factories aren't good for our health. Yeah, around the turn of that century, um, when not only the people, um, or not only the poor people, um, but also the rich people and the people in power started to realize this is a problem, and it's not only the poor people being affected by it, but now it's also us. That's when, on a political level, Amsterdam uh, do different things. They uh, introduced uh, the new housing laws mm -hmm. at the turn of the century. I believe they're from 1904 or 1903, mm -hmm. uh, which meant a lot of changes in sanitation, in how you're supposed to live, in new building codes and new building regulations. Mm -hmm. But it also meant that a lot of the older buildings um, had to be modified. Mm -hmm. They were not uh, suitable to live in. Uh, the world seemed to be heading in this direction, like uh, even Chicago, Sao Paulo, uh... Uh, nobody seemed to realize that it was such a problem to design for cars, but the Netherlands realized it quite soon. Uh, how and, and how did it change? The Dutch have kind of a, a culture of um, um, complaining about things. People took to the streets, mm -hmm. so there were massive um, riots and protests um, against government legislature um, allowing all these cars to just drive freely through the country. They were calling for more space or giving space back to the cyclists. At some point it got really personal because a lot of these deaths in traffic uh, who were cyclists were children. So the whole country kind of you know got off their seats and, and they wanted something done about um, making cycle traffic safer. Let's say that you wake up tomorrow and Amsterdam is gone. How do you think that changes the Netherlands? I would hate that. I think it matters more to foreigners because Amsterdam is the only thing most people know. The majority of the population of Amsterdam is foreign. Mm -hmm. Not that I hate foreigners, but it's 51% of the population is from a different country. Amsterdam is, by the way, the only city in the world that hosts every nationality of this world that this planet has. And um, it's also nice just to, I think, have a decent mix between Dutch and, and foreign people because also the spoken language in, in Amsterdam is English. Yeah, so I think we just lose a very old tourist city with millions of people. Uh, it would have a huge uh, economical, uh, you say, impact. The social, cultural, financial, um, international hub that it is. Uh, cannot be replaced by another city in the Netherlands. Would you live there? I think, yeah. I absolutely would if it wasn't so damn expensive. Um, not so sure yet. No, I don't think so. Problem is that it's really expensive. A small apartment, a really small apartment, like a 24 square meter apartment, could be like 1,000 euros each month, so that's ridiculously much. Uh, I um, still have to finish four more years, so um, yeah, maybe I can imagine having a studio or something here, but maybe not uh, the whole thing. I like private space, and private space is pretty uncommon here in Amsterdam. But yeah, maybe not in the city center, but a little out of the city center. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a lot of nice places to live. It's full of tourists, so. If you live there, I think after a few weeks, like you're like done with the tourists. You're like, you know, um, they're everywhere in the street making pictures, like blocking the roads, and I think you would go crazy after a while. <laughs> so. I do this. What happens? Does something happen? Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is all going to the video, by the way.